What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to still we're going to continue our discussion about Nabisworks 2025. So this time we're going to learn how to create and use sets of objects. Okay? So in Nabisworks, you can create and use sets of object or sets of like uh, objects. So in particular, in this video, we are going to learn how to create selection sets and search sets okay so quick definition selection sets store a group of items for later retrieval okay so search sets work in a similar way except that they save the search criteria instead of the results of a selection so you will be able to uh, learn later on so what's the difference between the selection sets and search sets okay so for now I have my Revit 2024 open and then I just created here a series of columns, very simple model. So I'll just save it as uh, columns. And then after that, I'm going to export it as an NWC file. So let's click that one. So columns, NWC. So I'll just save it on my documents. Save. All right. And then let's go to Navisworks. Alright, so this is my new Navis work, so I'll just append that column. So let's click append and then let's look for uh, NWC. So let's go to all Navis works files, NWD, NWF, and NWC. And then let's look for the columns, which is my NWC file. Let's select here, open. Okay, so here's now my model. All right, so let me just right click and change the background here. So let's click the background. I'll just change that to plain color. I just want a black color. I'll select OK. There you go. All right, so now the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to create a selection sets. Very simple. You just need to select the elements that you would like to save as a group. So let's say, for example, um, this first two rows okay so i'm going to select here select box i click that one and then i'll use a window selection by the way currently it is set as a perspective view right there's perspective view so i do not want that so i'll just right click that one and then i'll select orthographic view okay so i can uh, visualize it more easily so select box all right so let me go to top so i will select this one so this is my selected object and then for us to be able to save it as a selection set very simple after you select just select here save selection so that's it so let's click that one and then it will open up the sets dialog box and then you will be able to name it so this is the icon for selection set so for this one i'll just type here selection set all right so that's my selection set so if i click outside so i'll be able to retrieve that again by selecting selection set group okay so selection sets are static groups of items and are useful for saving a group of objects that you want to regularly perform some action on like if you want to hide the item uh, changing the transparency and so on okay so like I, I change the color so i just right click and then override i'll change the color so let's say i want that to be yellow and then i'll select okay Okay, so that's how you use your selection set. So they simply store a group of items for later retrieval. So there is no intelligence behind the selection set. So let's say if the model changes at all, the same items are selected. So assuming they are still available in the model when recalling the selection set. Okay, so that's our selection set. Now, how about the search sets? So how to do that? Search set, can uh, we can create that by going to our uh, find items. So okay, okay, so this one, so I'm going to select that one. And let's say I want to select all of these elements here. So I'll just click one of the element. I'll just change this one back to select. 
so I can select individually. So I click this one. All right, so I want to select all of these uh, columns that contains like UB305. Okay, so how to do that? So to do that, I'm going to use the category item. Category item. So let's look for item. All right, so item. And then I want the name, the property. See, property name. Property, look for name. Okay, so that's my property and the name. All right, so item, name, what else? So what are the other properties that I have here? So I will click again just for me to have a reference. Okay, so I want the value that contains UB305. So for the condition, I'm going to select here um, contains. So we have several condition here, equal, not equals, contains, wildcard, uh, defined, undefined. So for this one, I'll just select contains and then the value UB305. Okay, so let's look for, I'll just type uh, UB, I'm going to make it big as well, UB305. And then these are the settings here. So match character weeds, match diacritics, and match case. Okay? So I want that. So I want to find all the items whose name contains UB305. So obviously, it will select all of these uh, items here on my rows uh, 3 and 4. So if I select here, find all. So I'll just select find all. I'm not going to use find first or find next. I'll just select find all. So I click that one. And then as you can see, it now highlights all of these elements. Of course, it will also highlight here on my uh, selection tree. Now, after I selected these elements using this find items uh, criteria, so I'm now going to save it. So how to do that? So let's go back. Let me now close this one. I don't need this anymore. I was able to use now the uh, criteria to find these elements so I'll just close this and then let's go now to the sets so here on sets this is the icon that we needed save search so let's click this one and there you go so as you can see they have different icon there so for this one so this is uh, search search set enter okay so if I click outside so if I click that one I'll be able to select that again okay so Basically, it's the same as selection set, but there's a difference. Okay, so what's the difference? Search sets are dynamic groups of items, and it works in a similar way as uh, selection sets, except that they save the search criteria instead of the results of uh, selection only, so that you can rerun the search at a later date as and when the model changes okay so if the model changes you can rerun the uh, search sets so you will up, you'll be able to update these sets here so search sets are much more powerful and can save you time especially if your CAD files are continuing to be updated and revised okay so another thing is it is also possible to export uh, search sets and share it with other users all right so let's say what do i mean if i update so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to save this one first uh, i'll just save it as nwf and then i'll just name it columns as well columns all right and then i'll just close this one so i'll just create a new one to close my current project all right so i'll just go back again to my Revit. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add like this. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy another one here. And let's say I'll change this one. Change that to 450 by 600 like that. And then I'm going to copy this. So let's say I'll copy it here, here. And then I want to copy this as well. 
okay and then maybe the, for this one I'm going to change that to uh, 457 and then this one I want to change this as 127 type okay there you go okay so I'll just copy this one again copy and then put it here okay and then let me save this all right so here's now the updated Revit model so I just added like uh, two more columns remember this uh, these two rows that I have added is just the same as uh, same type as this one so it's also 300 by 450 all right and also here below I added um, different types of um, I columns okay so basically I'll just save this one and then after that so again let's go back to add-ins and then external tools and then let's uh, save uh, the NWC file so let's override that let's select yes and then let's go to Navisworks so now here so let's go back and then open up our NWF file okay so here's now our model all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select the search set search set and then as you can see my search sets here updated okay so it also selected the other elements that has the same criteria as the first elements that we have earlier okay which is if we go back to our find items so this is the criteria right so any item that contains ub305 will be selected and true to its criteria so it's now selected so it's it added these elements here okay so that one now as for our selection set so if I click the selection set here so as you can see it's still selecting the old uh, group so even if you add another elements here it will not be added so this is only for the uh, selection set so it will not be updated so remember selection sets are static groups of items and only useful for saving a group of objects that you want to regularly perform some action on like hiding or changing the transparent transparency or uh, color for example so there is no intelligence behind uh, this set so if the model changes at all so the same items are selected but if you are going to use search sets so search sets are dynamic groups of items and work in a similar way to selection uh, sets except that they save the search criteria instead of the results of a selection so that you can rerun the search at a later date as and when the model changes okay so search sets are more uh, powerful and can save you time especially if your CAD files are continuing to be updated and revised okay so that's the difference so why do we use selection set selection sets it's easy to perform so you just need to select all the elements and then after that just save it okay so this is useful uh, if you want to regularly perform some action okay but if you see that the project will just keeps on changing changing and changing so might as well use your search sets so uh, basically that's how that's how you create and use sets of objects selection sets and search sets okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day